Hello, third grade it is Miss Keeley here again. I hope you guys all had a good and successful time with starting to draw your tiger face. Again, I know that things are going to start to be a little bit more challenging creating things on your own at home, but um, you guys have always done a really, really great job in class and have always kind of gone up and above my expectations. So I'm sure you guys will all be just fine with what I'm asking of you. Um, and again, I know that this specific project is a little bit challenging because we're drawing a tiger head, which is pretty tricky. So um, some of you guys did send me your pictures. Again, it was an option. I don't need to see a picture until the very end of the project. But of course, I do love to see them in the process. So if you want to send them, obviously you can. Okay. I'm just not requiring it because I know that it's a lot to send me a picture. So um, today's step. We are going to be taking either a black marker, black Sharpie, black crayon, black color pencil, anything that is black that you can get a nice dark bold line with, okay? I always like to remind people, if you are choosing a black Sharpie, you are going to want to put a color, uh, another piece of paper underneath your paper so that way it doesn't bleed through to the other side, okay? And so you are pretty much just tracing over everything. Okay. We've done this a lot this year with tracing over things. So you guys have some experience. This is something that it's kind of easy and simple because you are just tracing over what you already drew. But I want you guys to really make sure that you take your time, really work on matching it up as best as you can. I kind of go in and I add a little bit more detail as I trace it to make it look a little bit more, more like fur. Um, so obviously you guys have that option. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Um, when you get to the eyes, so I'm just going to keep fast forwarding until I get to the eyes. But um, So when you're doing the eyes, and I mentioned this on our Falling People project for space and form, you want to be really careful because if you are using a marker or a sharpie it tends to kind of expand a little bit more than what you think so um it's really important that you leave that white highlight that little spot in the eye to make it look realistic so you want to be careful that you're not getting too close to it because the sharpie does kind of bleed and it could cover it up so you want to be careful that you don't cover that up all right and so I'm just going to keep fast forwarding it, tracing over everything, coloring in areas that need to be all black, coloring in my tiger stripes, my teeth, the whiskers. And then um, this is about craftsmanship, is taking a eraser and going back and erasing any pencil lines that are still showing. As third graders, you guys have done a really nice job this year, but it's always important to remember about craftsmanship and making your projects as neat and as nice as possible. So um, just taking that extra step to go in and erase any pencil lines that could still be showing, okay? Um, and so you can see I'm really taking my time to really get that done. Um, so that was going to be it for this week. That took me about five minutes to do, which is not a long time. So I will show you guys a little bit of the next step, but if you feel like you did a lot for this one step, then obviously you, you don't need to go any further for this week, but I will introduce the next step, okay? Um, so the next step is you have your tiger head and we are going to be coloring it. So you can choose a material of your choice that you think would work best, whether it's color pencils, crayons, markers, watercolor paint, watercolor pencils, whatever you have at home that is colorful and you want to choose, go for it, okay? Um, just the only thing I want you to remember is that this whole project is about symmetry and making it look the same on both sides. So I'm starting at the top of my head, my tiger head, and I, instead of just coloring it like, just like boring old color blocked sections, I'm really focusing on kind of blending out my colors. And this is why I'm breaking this into like a third step of coloring. And again, that's why I am showing you now some of it because I do feel like some of you could start it a little bit this week and then continue on next week. But um, 
I'm blending my colors together. So I took two different shades of blue, I blended them together. And that's just a more interesting way to color something rather than just have these big bold areas of one color. You guys are in third grade and you should start being able to experiment with how materials work and how they can blend together. Um, and if you see so far, they are exactly the same on both sides with color. Um, and so same thing, I'm just, I do one side and then I immediately go to the other so that way it's matching up as best as possible. And you can see here, I'm working on kind of blending colors into one another. If you are somebody who wants to blend colors together and you're not quite sure how, my advice is um, if you think about the rainbow or the color wheels that we did, any color that's next to each other, so if our rainbow goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, um, the color that's next to red is orange. So you could pick kind of like those colors because they're next to each other. They automatically will blend nicely together. Warm colors blend nicely together. Cool colors blend nicely together. Um, you can really blend any colors you want together, but I've gone over this with that certain colors don't really mix that well. So you might create like a dark brown or a greenish brown color that isn't as bright and colorful. And so you, if you look down here, I had it really light pink, and so now um, that created like a base layer, and so now I can kind of overlap it with a new color that um, I'm trying to blend it with. So I went from like a light pink to a pink magenta color, and I'm just kind of working on blending it. I'm not pressing too hard. I'm just kind of lightly letting them overlap a little bit, okay? And so I'm not going to really show you too much more than this okay I'm just gonna leave it off with this I have both um, sides pretty much symmetrical but this takes me a while to color it and so far there isn't really any big open white spots where like I was scribble scrabbling so that's something that I want you guys to focus on also all right um, so again you can start to color it this week if you'd like to but next week will be a video of me finishing and coloring the whole thing okay so I can't wait to see how they come out and I will chat with you guys in the next video.